Hi, Donna here from Donna's Quilt Studio. Today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to make a pin board. We're firstly going to start with a piece of Pinex or softboard. Now you can get this from any hardware store and they'll cut it to whatever size you want. We're going to take it and we're going to cover it with Pallon. So I've laid it down on the Pallon here and we're just going to fold it back. And with our staple gun, to staple it in place. Right, now just make sure that we do the folds in the corner very neatly. So we'll just take it over, fold it, staple it in place, opposite corner. Right, so that's it all covered with a pallum. Now we're ready to take our fabric, and I've chosen this very cool Dr. Seuss fabric. It's perfect for our, our little notice board. Make sure that it's about 10 centimeters extra all the way around your Pinex board. Turn it round to the back. Make sure you've centered it up. And then we're going to repeat the process much the same as when we did our um, pallum. So we're going to Take it over. Now you need to be fairly careful with this. Make sure that it's nice and flat. And you're probably going to put a few more staples. I staple this one right at the edge here. Go in the middle. Make sure it's nice and flat. the process on the other side and this is where you need to make sure that you've got a little bit of tension on there make sure it's not distorted middle end again need to be very careful with the corner so make sure it's nice and flat Fold the edge into the edge of the Pinex there and then we'll take it over like that. So again, fold it in and over we go. Here we go, how quick and easy is that? Right, now we're going to place some ribbons through the middle. Generally we do this about 10 to 15 centimetres apart, but this fabric's got some little red lines running through it, so I'm going to do every second, second one. So we're going to start from the centre and lay your strips through the middle and just place them where you want them at this stage. Right, so now we're going to lay them the other way. So we'll just again start in the middle and lay them carefully because you don't want to shift the ones underneath. Right, so there we are, all in place. Now we're going to take our drawing pins. And if you can find some nice coloured ones, I've got some black ones to put in here. And we're just going to start in the centre and place the drawing pins in. Right now we've placed all the drawing pins in place and now we're going to take all these ends over to the back and staple them in position. So just make sure that you're pulling them firm. This way around the back and Right, 
now just the last few staples just to neaten up the ribbon on the back there, hold it in place, and we're all finished. Here we go. Now a useful little tip, if you need to hammer in those drawing pins, use a little bit of felt over the drawing pin and you won't lose any paint or damage the pin. Now these commando hooks are great for hanging these up. They've got a Velcro attached to them, sticky on the back. Right, so just take the back off these commando hooks for sticky side down, place it down. Now it probably won't stick too well to the fabric, so I just take the staple gun, pop a couple of staples in there to hold it in place. Do this on all four corners. And then when you want to attach it to the walls, you just take the opposite pair, stick it in there with the Velcro, pull the little adhesive backs off and stick it onto the wall. And there we go, our lovely finished picture board.